Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, it's Saturday, and um, this is my transition day, so I'm going to be up for about another hour and a half, and then I'll be taking a nap and going to work tonight. And it's my long week, so I'll be working until Wednesday morning. Um, I just thought I'd show you something I started working on uh, Friday. This is the ICM uh, 135th scale standard B Liberty truck. It's World War I U.S. Army truck, or um, you can do it as the U.S. Marines. But um, I just thought I'd show you where I was at with this. Uh, I have a couple of issues with the build itself and the way the instructions for the build are laid out but I'll show those really quickly and show you where I'm at with that. First of all, um, this is actually, I've never done an ICM kit before. So, so far the detail on it has been uh, pretty extensive. And this kit does not have a whole lot of parts on it. So let me just show you the sprues real quick, um, at least for what I haven't already clipped off and stuff. I do pre-prime um, the parts. I think it just makes it easier. It's just my the way I do it. So there's that. And again, there's not a whole lot of sprues on here. There's only four. And again, I've already clipped off some of those that you saw in that first sprue just to make the chassis. I'll show you that in a minute. There's the cover and the base for the the bed of the uh, truck itself. The wheels. Again, most of the chassis parts are gone. Uh, I'm going to start building the engine soon. But um, first off, let me show you what I have finished. Move the camera up a little bit. Drop this down. Get a little bit better view here. All right. So here's the chassis so far. There are a lot of tiny parts on this thing. I mean, I think they decided to just make tiny parts just to add to the part count for this um like to the point where it's annoying how many little parts there are on this thing just to make the chassis um i will show you a couple of issues that i had with this the first one let me get my little pointing stick here First issue I had, you see this bar here? And I'll show you this in the instructions. It tells you to attach it here, and then it just tells you to attach it somewhere up in here. But it doesn't show you where to attach it. And there's nothing in here that actually makes it look like there's something to attach to into this section. And then the other issue was the struts for the fender. When you look at the instructions, the way they have this laid out, it makes it look like you see this flat piece in here. Makes it look like it's actually going this way, not flat like this. Um, and then what I ended up ended up having to do was in order to get everything to position right and I had that same problem on both of these sides I clipped the fenders out attached the pieces the struts to the fenders first and then had to finagle it into the chassis in order to get it to fit properly and you can see I kind of did the same thing on this side as well and then it fit really well, the radiator, but when I went to go glue it in, 
it was very sloppy. There was like a lot of play where the radiator sat. So the glue wouldn't hold because it didn't firmly match up to the sides really well. So that actually took a little bit of time for the glue to actually hold that in place. So there's that. Um, <clears throat> so I started this build yesterday, worked on it for a couple hours this morning, and then uh, I'm going to kind of, I'll probably put the wheels together and maybe the start the engine uh, before I go to take a nap before I go to work tonight. Um, the other thing that was a bit of a pain in the neck, um, were these little struts down here. No, oh, that wasn't it. Where, where, where'd it go? Anyway, there's, <laughs> oh, that was it. See these little springs here? Right. They're round, but they come in two halves. I mean, really? Two halves for that? It was ridiculous. I mean, it, I couldn't even hold the part long enough to be able to glue it and put it together. That was just nutty. Anyway, so there's that. Um, I have an idea for a diorama for this, and uh, I'll get to that in a minute. But what I wanted to show you, so here's the instructions. I want to show you this section right here where they was talking about these struts. You notice... When you look at the actual holes that these things go into, this and this hole don't really match up cleanly. And then there's this piece that I was showing you where it just kind of says it goes in here, but it doesn't really show you what it attaches to in here. And there was nothing really obvious. So I just kind of had to look or place it in there so that was kind of annoying um so there's that oh, let me... so the first time that i looked at these struts this is the first side for this thing is here and you'll notice how this is written here you can't really see that these things are flat. The other picture that I showed you the first time is much better. If you, this isn't very clear. And the way this piece is shaped and this hole is shaped don't really match up very well. There's a lot of play with this piece going into this hole where it'll slide around. Like when I first put it in there, it ended up facing this way instead of this way like what i showed you with the actual fender so the and and this piece was out this way so that's why i ended up having to do attach them to the fenders first just to make sure i was getting them in the right position so there was that um then you got like this small little piece right here that attaches to the rear uh drivetrain here and you know I couldn't even pick that up with a pair of tweezers it's so small I'm not even sure what this is or why it's even there I'm sure it was probably something to drain you know the transmission fluid out of here or whatever would be in here to lubricate this I'm sure that was probably the drain plug or something but Jesus that was just nuts. Anyway, um, so overall, I mean, so far the kit hasn't been too bad other than those couple of issues that I've had with this. Here, I'll show you those two springs. So you saw how small they were, and they come in two halves. But anyway, um, 
Yeah, this is my first time with an ICM kit. Um, I've heard good things about them, and like I said, the detail is really wonderful in it. Uh, just lots of small, tiny parts. And that's why I actually have this um, little washcloth down here, so that when I cut stuff off of the sprue, it'll end up um, not bouncing off my table and onto the floor. So this has actually been a neat little idea. Oh, and I do want to call out that um, I love this glue. This stuff is fantastic. I used to use this stuff. This stuff is crap. I have put models together using this and I've had pieces just fall apart. I actually, I put together a, um, a 170 second scale, um, Mark V tank, World War One tank using this. And it sat for a couple of weeks and I was going to go get ready to paint it and all that kind of stuff. And I picked it up and everything fell off of it because the glue didn't hold. This stuff has been fantastic. I am going to buy a lot of this. Um, also, um, I started working on the, uh, AMT 69 Chevelle. Let's put that over there real quick. So I started working on that too. Um, I don't have anything done. I just have the, uh, all the product, all the parts primed. And this is going to be my homage build to, um, my friend Michael in our teenage years in his 69 Chevelle. So the nice thing is, is that now that I have it primed, it's already painted because that's the way his car was primer. It was primer color. So that's all I have. Just a real quick video. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, thanks for all the comments on the last one. Uh, those tufts are really, uh, really, really good. Um, when I finally get to the point where I uh, base some stuff up, I'll show you what they look like once I get them on a base. Um, beyond that, uh, I hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend. For those of you in the U.S., um, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. I hope you are all staying safe and healthy during all of this uprise or upswing in uh, the COVID cases and things like that. And um, please like, comment, and share the video. And uh, to all my new subscribers, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.